like the rest of us require oxygen. Otherwise I'd go stir crazy. Diana Funfera. This is my craft room. Needs yarn. No, I gotta keep crocheting, but I just don't know what I'm gonna do with it. The Bellevue grandmother of 17 no, says everybody in the family has a hat, an afghan, and anything she can crochet. I just do it. Perfecting the art form for 40 years. She rocks with a hook in one hand. Her grandson, Leo, gave Diana a nickname. He says my grandma's a happy hooker <laughs> because she, it's done with the crochet hook. Her magic fingers are on overdrive, though her heart can't quite keep up. That was a complete surprise and didn't even know it was coming. It was just a shocker. A heart attack 17 years ago damaged her heart so badly. So this is it. This is how I spend my time. And so she has piles. Minions and Spidey. And piles of hats. We called this one pigtails. Because of the little pigtails. What do you think? A nighttime. Oh, this one? OK. A few weeks later, Diana's handiwork is a warm gift. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This is Nelson Mandela School in North Omaha, where every kid could use a hat. Let's see if it fits you, Joey. Yeah. These are man. Oh, you look darling. Can you show my friend? Diana is feeling under the weather on this day and can't be here. They ask about her. What's her name? Her name is Diana. Hey, Mama. Diana? The kids want to know more about the hat lady, so I share a bit about her heart. She doesn't get around very well, but what she can do is she sits in the chair and she crochets and she makes things. In fact, she made 57 hats just for these kindergartners. You look precious. Let me see that smile. They know when someone gives you something, you give in return. One, two, three. Thank you, Diana. And the children, they conclude Diana's giving spirit shows there's nothing wrong with her heart at all.